It might be James Bond's car of choice, but the pandemic is proving too strong for Aston Martin, the luxury car maker announcing nearly a quarter of its highly skilled workforces to go. It's a sign of the times. Where can they go if they lose their jobs at the moment? Well, at the moment, there is nowhere to go. Nobody is recruiting in the car industry across the West Midlands. Nobody is recruiting in the car industry across the UK. We've seen the announcements from Bentley of a 1,000 workers being made redundant. We've seen the previous announcement from Mercedes, where they're losing a very large number of their existing employees, so there is nowhere for them to go. Every job in a car factory generates 10 in the supply chain. Just up the road, this company, which makes parts for Nissan and Jaguar Land Rover, just announced over 400 job cuts too. Jaguar Land Rover has only just gone back to work with very limited capacity because of social distancing. It announces its annual results next week and it will not be pretty. In April of this year, the UK produced fewer than 200 new cars and registered just over 4,000. That's the lowest level since 1946, figures which are completely unsustainable. The government's focus then and now remains on reducing the infection rates on what to do about the flat crisis in British manufacturing. There's almost total blanket silence. Nearby is Coventry, the UK's home of the motor car. It went through a collapse in car making when Margaret Thatcher was Prime Minister in the 1980s and it has taken nearly two generations for the city to get over it. But it now has a plan for how to avoid it all happening again and it wants the government to hear it. The figures I'm seeing are taking unemployment levels to a place that we haven't seen, not in just my generation, but the generation before that, maybe the 1920s. What we need the government to do is, as well as furloughing people and spending billions of pounds on actually keeping people off work, they need to invest in new technology. Coventry is the location for the UK Battery Industrialisation Centre. We need to be the place where the new batteries of the future are built. Union leaders nationally are having similar conversations, even suggesting a new Made in Britain strategy could tie in with Brexit, but they say they aren't getting very far. Reopening the economy will make the difference between a very deep and damaging recession and a depression. And if we move into a long-standing depression, that has consequences, not just on jobs, and I'm talking millions of jobs, um, but on people's health. It, recessions kill people. The view across the industry is that it's like watching a tidal wave coming and not getting off the beach. Companies are making hard choices. The effects on people will be every bit as bad as the virus. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, in the West Midlands.